Uh, my name is Gary Woodall, that's G-A-R-Y, W-O-O-D-A-L-L. -L. I'm a meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Memphis, Tennessee. All right, Gary, so obviously we have some active weather on tap. Um, could you talk about maybe what's happened the last few days as far as the flooding concern goes and what that might mean for the next several days looking forward? Uh, all across the Mid-South, we've seen uh, widespread heavy rainfall over the last several days, and that's led to all different types of flooding in the area. We've had uh, aerial flooding of lowland and poor drainage areas, uh, some creeks and tributaries flooding, and unfortunately all that water is going to drain in and eventually start to affect the, the medium and larger rivers, including the Mississippi River, uh, which will be uh, heading into flood stage as well. So, you know, rain continues to be a big problem, obviously, even with severe weather tomorrow, potential for even more rain to follow with that. Um, what other concerns are you having for tomorrow? Maybe tornadoes, high wind, hail? Uh, in addition to the ongoing uh, flooding and heavy rainfall threats, so we are looking at uh, potential for the uh, first significant severe weather event we've had in the Mid-South in quite some time. Uh, the Storm Prediction Center currently has us in an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms. Uh, probably will be a line of thunderstorms when it moves through here late in the afternoon or tomorrow uh, evening. Uh, damaging winds will be a, a threat, but we can't rule out the possibility of tornadoes as well. The uh, conditions uh, a few thousand feet up above the ground are going to be very favorable for the storms to rotate, and so we will have a tornado threat here in the Mid-South tomorrow as well. All right, just start off by spelling and stating your name and then give us your title. Lavelle Blanchard, L-E-V-E-L-L. -L. Last name Blanchard, B-L-A-N-C-H-A-R-D. I'm the Deputy Administrator for the Shelby County Office of Preparedness. Okay. How important is preparedness and what do you uh, preach to your staff about being prepared? Uh, well, first off, we ensure that we are prepared uh, and we practice what we preach. Um, uh, some of the guys are, are very well prepared. They've got their, we, we all have vehicles with kits in them that uh, in case we're stuck side the road, we have extra water. The things that we tell the citizens to do have extra water, clothing, food, um, medication if you are stranded. And, and you have the same kits for your home too. Um, and we also, when we go out, we, we advise folks to, to do the same thing where they work, to have a, have a kit at your office uh, in case you're stuck in the office. Great. Um, Safety tips, how do people get the latest information and how do they, you know, make decisions? What's the best process for people to take? Well, we always ask you to listen to the, your favorite television station because a lot of times the news, they're going to report what's going on with the weather. So we ask that you uh, listen, to the, listen, to the, listen to the news and uh, follow whatever advice they're giving you. And, and a lot of times we do press releases and, and we give them to the uh, TV stations and they, they will play them and, and, and have the tips that we uh, recommend. And then uh, worst case scenario, do you have an incident? What do you do then? Um, we are activate the EOC and bring in some of the uh, other emergency support functions. It if it's a wind event, um, a perfect example would in, in two th May of 2017 when we had the uh, derecho come through uh, on Memorial Day, it knocked out power to, to over 200,000 residents. So we did a partial activation. We had uh, our energy folks in, mm -hmm. um, our fire service, uh, the law enforcement guys, public works to come, come in to help uh, just mitigate what's going on. All right.